Hey, I'm Nick Boy and welcome to Pocket, and today I'm checking out the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine expansion pack. This is the big final expansion pack for The Witcher, which has come out, and, uh, and a lot of people are very excited about it. Now, I for one have not actually finished The Witcher 3, because there's just too much game there for one man to handle, and I assume all of you are in exactly the same boat, and no one watching has finished the game. But it's fine, because CD Projekt Red have accounted for all of us. They know they made an unfinishable game, so they've factored that into the DLC. So when you uh, buy it and boot up the game for the first time, you get these options. So you can either choose from the beginning, which uh, these quests will just be added uh, to your journal, and then once you complete this quest, the quest called The Poet Under Pressure, then you can start the expansion pack. Um, you can load a previously saved game and just go from there, or you can choose the blood and wine only option, which will give you a 34 level Geralt ready to go with all of the abilities and stuff that he needs, and so I think that's the option we're gonna jump into. Welcome to the Blood and Wine expansion. In this mode, all the quests in the main storyline have been set as completed. I did finish the game! As a result, your character has been duly leveled up and is ready for new adventures that await you in Blood and Wine. Though core storyline quests are not available in this mode, you can still pursue and complete the main game's many, 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 many side quests and monster hunts. You've unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. So I can just new game plus it straight away? You gained an ability point. This is a great way to start a game. You finished, you can start the game again on the more sort of difficult modes. You've gained ability points. I have 44 ability points. Oh, I need to level up from scratch. Okay, I'm actually just gonna focus down on being a sort of fast, heavy hitter. I think that's how I was playing last time. Get up in them guts. All right. Hey, buddy. Wow, you look good on PC. Oh, you look so much better than on consoles. Let's go. All right, appeal to Sir Geralt of Rivia, the bridge, his crest. Geralt of Rivia, at the behest of our merciful sovereign, her illustrious grace, Anna Henrietta, we have journeyed to the Northern Realms to lay before you our mission. A terrible monster has appeared in the Duchy of Toussaint, a beast that has committed heinous crimes against her grace's subjects. Only the most famous among witches has the ability to destroy the beast. Thus, we humbly beseech you to appear in our village of Holloway, where we shall await you in full hope that you will deign to hear our woes and liberate our land from the clutches of fear. Your humble servants, blah, 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 blah. They're really, uh, they're really stroking the old eags there. But I like it. I like it. Onward! What's the horse's name again? Pest, Roach, Roach. Pestilence. So, it's interesting leveling up a character at level 34, starting from zero. There's a lot of pressure put on you at that point. I feel like you, you tend to learn things organically as you as you level up sort of normally. When you suddenly get all those points, you go, I don't know what I want to be. It's kind of like you're a teenager again. I don't know what I want to do. I'm just going to put it all into an arts degree and drinking. We've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Our labors shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be banished for good. Milton, look. That butt. Get out! In the flesh. Hail, Witcher! Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. What are you wearing on your head? You, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. But first, we must drink with Jerry. That is some great armor. That kid knows it as well. He, he loved it so much, he just ran right through that horse. You see, Palmerin, I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. He looks so much like the dude from Vikings. So I've never seen it before. Speech. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land still has set the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. This is so The Witcher. This could not be more The Witcher. You get, you get this quest going, we really need your help, here's the story. And then the first thing that happens is someone goes, uh, can you actually just come do this side quest with me? That would be great. Can we just 
let's just finish off these bandits and then we'll go deal with whatever's terrorizing the Countess. Uh, okay, let me help you with those bandits. Get rid of those bandits. Worst ones will come in to replace them. Ooh, do I just go with that? This isn't how I would play old Jerry, but yeah, this is a new day. No point fighting bandits. Kill these and others just as bad or possibly worse will come in to fill the void. To cast a blind eye upon the evil, there is no honor in it. Can't stay here to protect these folk from the dangers that come their way daily. Saw what I saw. Heard them urge you to leave these raiders alone. Must have good reason to do that. Do you suggest that should we help, we assume responsibility for their fate? For their lives? This burden we cannot agree to bear. Geralt speaks wise. I feel like they agreed a little too easily. This land, nor its peoples, nor its customs. And we have come with another duty altogether. Great. That was actually the right decision. Let the people deal with it. They didn't want you here in the first place. First, let us convey our missive to Geralt in the manner tradition ordains. I'm all ears. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star Cross city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? <laughs> uh, Anna Henrietta say all that word for word? Uh, this beast, tell me more, tell me more. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a mm. brutal, horrid manner. Mm. Look. It could have been Geralt. I remember killing a lot of people. Descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately. It's the Slender Man or a vagina? Sight. Folks say it wields black magic. There it is. So That's a vagina. Both victims were no people. That one right there. And the start of a tourney draws near. I'll take the contract. This contract need to think about it. Why? Why? What would I do? What would I- what? Go do all the other side quests in the game? Beast wields black magic. Anyone tried trapping the monster? Did you say turny? Um, uh, black magic? Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites of the feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Yeah, that does sound pretty terrifying. I'll take the contract. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no, just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Hmm. Demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you, yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Buckle ah. down and venom mobile phones. None of this would be a problem. Beautiful! You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you Oh, oh! Chance. Good you fonts! Oh! Oh! What is this? Oh! Well, it's a good thing I absolutely remember the controls to all the combat. Oh no! It 
it's the witch's version of Ned Kelly. And we'll celebrate him after we kill him as well. For the rest of time. Ooh, he's such a hero. For my lady! Okay, fast attack, strong attack, dodge! Ha <laughs> ha! Never read. Why are you just focusing on me? Okay, I'm used to Dark Souls dodge. It's not a roll, it's just a little zippy movement. Oh! Just a couple, just a couple right there on the pants. Oh, now you roll. Now you roll when you're dead. Holy crap, this combat is so slow. I totally forgot that. Oh, sorry about the little crossbow bolt there. Yes, in, in, in the nads. I like the fact that when he does that little swingy, um, you can actually just move in close and dodge it. Okay, health is back up. This is good. Things are vaguely coming back to me now. I like how I just uh, ran right into that. Unfortunately, because I've started like a brand new game, I don't actually have a glossary entry on uh, any of these kinds of guys. Uh, which he actually, for all I know, may be brand new to the series. Why are you always just picking on me? What did I do to you? Oh. Where? Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Don't get crushed by the barrel head. You're wearing feathers too? What is happening in this place? Big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. Wait, but I did all the work. I should get the you beautiful dame. No, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Good man. Uh, glad to take the trophy. You did well against the giant. How did a giant wind up here? I'm curious. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks. Yes. Let's go see River Corpse. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. I feel kind of bad for the giant now. Not bad enough to cut off part of it. Hey! We'll level up later. I've had enough leveling up for today. Uh, okay, get on the horse. Can't get used to the way you knights talk. Especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights <laughs> in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. I like that it set up this, um, the idea, you know, that these knights so are bound by tradition so that everything they do in, an, in the capacity of a knight is very formal and very proper. Uh, I like the sort of world building there that they have, they have their ways that they must adhere to. The witch has always been very good at building out that sort of stuff. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. All right. Witcher senses. All right. Witcher senses didn't see the wall. Okay. Footprints. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. 
got guests. What's this? Careful. Wow, there are a lot of these, uh, these very fancy hors d'oeuvres. Whoa! Dumpling, dumpling, dumpling. Yum cha, baby. Just running away while he eats a dumpling. Getting soy everywhere. We can take it. Get out of the way. Oh, it's gonna explode. There we go. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Woo wee! Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Updated quest. Gonna dive in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Ooh, all right, cool. What is this thing? Handkerchief mo Did that say monogram DLC? Kerchief. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Well done. Need to comb the bank. Well done. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. A drink! By my troth! Could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? With whom do we have the pleasure? I'm Jerry. Oh yeah, let's get sassy. Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Geralt is a witcher, a master of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? Oh, what? Wait. Why, Corfo Wait. Bianco is Baron Russell's Wait. estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a that Yennefer? He'll set his hounds on them. Why? Well, just another brunette. He smells her. He smells her no matter what. No. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Ninnis, the innkeeper's daughter. All right, I don't want to hear about your petty squabbles. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Rochi, here, boy. Good boy. Good boy. I actually I remember the <laughs> the majority of my Come Witcher on, playthrough Roach. was calling Roach. And then spinning around to see if I could just see him spawn in midair. But the game never let me. One day I'll catch you, Roach, just appearing in the middle of a shrubbery. Oh my god! Kelly must still be here. We've encountered another side quest! Alright, so I came here to find a corpse, uh, but I seem to bring death and destruction wherever I go, so I might just leave it there for now. Okay, so that is The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. It's interesting playing this uh, so close to playing the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4 uh, just last week, where you see it's pretty much the same setup for all DLC, where you get a new quest, you go somewhere, and then, and then they go, oh, there's this new area that you never knew about. Like, let's go there and we can explore all this. And here again, we've set up with this premise. There's a monster, it's killing a bunch of people, we don't know what it is, we don't know how to stop it. My theory here is that it could be a vampire, I feel like blood and wine indicates, you know, vampires drink blood like wine. There's also this element of it getting places where people can't get into, like it's all locked up. Just bat it up, fly in, grab them, bat it out. Do they turn into bats when you grab them? I don't know. I'll figure that bit out later. I could be totally wrong. Uh, but I am interested to see what the monster is. I mean, the strength of the Witcher series has always been the monsters. The monsters in the world building that they, they have a really deep, rich, history, background, lore here, sometimes to the detriment of what I consider the plot of the game. It gets so mired in the detail that the top level plot can sometimes sort of drag out. And I think here uh, we've got a little taste of everything that Witcher has to offer here in the first 45 minutes. 
We fought a big thing. We did some detective uh, Witcher vision work. We had some very long conversations with people. And coming off the back of Uncharted, which is an unfair comparison because, you know, that is such a single player campaign and this is so open world. But coming off the back of Uncharted, you go, oh yeah, open world games really do just kind of have three camera angles for every conversation. You're just listening to someone say a lot of dialogue. Luckily, the dialogue is interesting, but I do think, like I said, sometimes a little mired in its own history a bit. I also forgot how much I really hated controlling Geralt, that getting into a fight, it either feels like he's sprinting towards something or he's walking really slowly. He's so clumsy to move, and coming off the back playing Dark Souls, where I'm so in control of how that character moves, this is going to take some getting used to. And speaking of getting used to, I do like the fact that you can start with this leveled up character, I think that's a really good idea, uh, that's something for particularly a game of this size. There would be lots of people out there like me who did not finish this game and who go, oh, maybe I do want another taste of The Witcher and I want to jump in and you can get a leveled up character. I think that's a good idea. The only downside with that is you start off straight away building up your character's stats and stuff. And I, like, I forgot everything about it. I forgot there was a tab for signs until halfway through putting points into all just my strong and heavy attacks. You forget so much, so you're sort of building this whole character and you're doing it on the fly without really remembering how a lot of this stuff works. So a little research might, you know, come in useful before you do that because then you're immediately thrown in a fight against a giant and I'm going, oh, I haven't equipped all the really good spells that I leveled up because I forgot I had to equip them and I can't quite remember. It took me half the fight to remember that I could sprint. So just stuff like that where, where you know, it's going to take a little game used to. For fans of The Witcher, I do think there's going to be a lot here, another 20, 30 hours of content for you, which is what you're looking for. And even though so far all we've needed to do is find a corpse, even finding a corpse has been a problem where there's been, you know, little side quests and stuff popping up already. So there is so much content here for you to enjoy. It has inspired me to go back to The Witcher in the same way that Far Harbor uh, has inspired me to go to Fallout. The difference is that with Far Harbor, I think that I'm just, uh, you know, I've just been going through the Far Harbor content and then I'm going to go back to the main game. Whereas with The Witcher, I do think that I'm going to start the game over from scratch. That diving in the deep end here, I think I need to learn too much. Uh, and, and remember how to play the game too much that I'll be, you know, 10 hours into this before I really feel proficient. And by that time, uh, you know, I finish this content and then I need to, st if I want more, I need to start the whole game from scratch, having lost all of my abilities. So I am looking forward to diving back into The Witcher, giving it another red hot go. Uh, and then, you know, in seven to 800 hours and a couple of years, I'll, I'll get to this part where he's standing here next to the guy who says loot on his butt. All right, that's it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocketeers. Nick, bye out.